Dude, go outside. You haven't made a review in months. But I have everything I need here. Food, video games, uh, other stuff. What is that? Thank you for noticing. It's my lifetime supply of Hot Pockets. All right, I've seen enough. Here, here's a grocery list. Now leave! I feel great. Now, now only one, one thing one left, thing on, the left list. on the list. Ten hours later. I got the grapes. Where have you been? It's been hours. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is there blood on the grapes? Why is there blood on the grapes, Doc? Why I got the grapes. Is happening? There's blood on the I grapes. I got the grapes. How did you even get that I got on there? the Who, grapes. Did you kill somebody? I got the grapes. I mean, God knows. I got the grapes. Well, I'm gonna review game. <laughs> That's a good looking deep fryer. Hello, my fellow comrades. Let's talk about a man we all should love. Let's cut to the chase. You are all aware of the amazing fast food restaurant, KFC. The amazing man behind it is named Colonel Sanders. All you need to know about him is that he's awesome. The company noticed how awesome we all thought he was and decided to make a dating simulator of him. So let's see why it's still beloved today. Doc, why are the police here? Just give them the grapes. They'll understand. You play as an undergraduate in the greatest cooking university in the entire world. Cooking school. Academy for Learning. You meet your best friend, Miriam, who is scared about her abilities to be in such a prestigious school. And it is here where we find the main antagonist of the game, Ashley and the JoJo's Ripper, I mean Van Van the Man Man. Ashley looks weirdly like a McDonald's employee, and Van Van is... a man man. Doc, did you shoot the lemonade man off a building? The man wouldn't give him to me. Desperate times call for desperate measures! You're lucky he didn't press charges! He fell two stories! He knows what he did. He's a lemonade man! He doesn't sell grapes! Uh-huh. That's what he wants you to think. You know what? I'm not gonna argue with stupid. Smart choice. You're introduced to more characters, like whatever this thing is, and the teacher who is- Oh my goodness, that is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Okay, that's cute. Why aren't you that cute? You're a pug. That's, like... One of the cutest dogs ever. I'm drawn by a person who can't draw. Okay. Shots fired. The dog, Professor Dog, introduces the class to his secret mystery student. Then, out of nowhere, the wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. And he emerges. There he is. Colonel Harlan David Sanders. And he's so dreamy. He's an amazing cook, dedicated to his craft. He's been tinkering with how to make his own chain of chicken restaurants with an amazing signature dish called fried chicken. To sweeten the deal, he puts it in a bucket. Revolutionary. When you seek your teeth into that beautiful, tender chicken, you see the world cross before you. It's almost as if the universe wanted you to see that chicken and taste it. And with this, finally, everything makes sense. All the stresses and worries of life are all nothing compared to this beautiful, beautiful piece of chicken placed before you- Who the hell is that? You're not the colonel. Go away, you. You're tolerable.
After a quick pop quiz, you find yourself in a cooking arena where you are tasked with the first meal of the day. Personally, I like octopus, so I try to make octopus, but then Van Van got really angry, and uh, so then a whole cooking battle thing occurs, and Ashley shows her true colors. She wants Colonel all to herself. Uh-uh, sister. Not on my watch. I'm gonna make mashed potatoes now. So then, the Colonel and I taste the mashed potatoes together, holding out a spork, and once again you stare into his beautiful eyes. But in all seriousness, Van Van's food looks freaking amazing. Like seriously, the level of detail in that, I, I assume that that's charcoal on octopus, with a nice sauce, I can't really tell what that is. Um, oh, well, yeah. Oh crap, it kills you? Dang. Who was that kid again? Then, Colonel Sanders takes you back to your room. And suddenly, a monster appears. You have to use your final fantasy attacks to destroy the monster. And you're all like, yeah, and the monster's all like, yeah, and I'm all like, please shut up. When you defeat the monster, he drops a book, which, when picking it up, causes you to fall into a deep sleep. Colonel Sanders drops you off back in your dorm. He even tucks your bed in. What a saint. You witness an amazing dream in your dream you're together with Colonel Sanders. And you're also hanging out with your other friends as well, even though you've known them for like a day. The next day begins. You tell Miriam about your love of the Colonel. She doesn't believe it, but you prove your love by getting hit by a horse. Why would you do that? Because it's a horse. That's dumb. Also, she likes Clank, so I guess that's the thing. Also, that really forgetful guy comes back after you get knocked out. I don't think it has anything to do with the plot, so I don't really care. You enter a cook-off, and you get your hand caught in a mincer. Let's see what Ashley made. No! What is it? It's perfect. The all is lost moment. Colonel takes care of you and brings you back home. He talks about his failures to be a lawyer, and other businesses he failed at. Historically accurate moment. Here we actually see little easter eggs that show that this was a passion project more than anything. You see memorabilia of Sanders' moments in history. You know, seeing all the cute baby pictures and everything. Anyways, we sniff Colonel's clothes, and it is here where I physically cringe. Colonel catches the main character sniffing his clothes, sits down with us, and we eat coleslaw together. I confess my love to him, and I fall asleep in his house. It's the final exam, and everyone's bringing the competition. Van Van makes something out of a sea urchin, Miriam makes this adorable little soup, and Ashley makes this cool thing that no one's allowed to eat. Almost everyone is disqualified, until, you know, the Colonel and I work together to make mac and cheese and chicken tenders. We are just too good. It's the dance at the end of the semester. I get to dance with the colonel, and I realize I might have to part ways with him, because he's a one-man team. But he says he'll always be with me in my heart. <laughs> Smug, what do we do now? What? The game is done. It was beautiful. What now? End the review. Huh. Okay. This is the duck. I hope you liked the review. Love ya! Keep